Hey Leo, welcome to your general love read. This is for May 11th through the 17th. However, time is fluid. So whenever this pops up for you, if it resonates, that's when you were meant to see it. If it does resonate, there is a link below in the description box that will take you to my Patreon membership program. And that program is for the entire month. Um, also, um, whatever video gets the most like, shares, love, contributions, at the end of next week, I'll look back at this week and I'll release that extended as a free bonus. Um, I'll probably keep doing that until we get to the next goal of 250 and then I will start doing, um, for the goal to get to 500, I'll probably start doing a bonus reading for that sign. Um, how I'm going to do the reading, I'm intuitive. So I read energy from the cards. So what you see as being the traditional, like eight of swords may not be what I see when I look at the cards. Um, I also listen to what I'm being told from spirit guide. And um, I give you that message along with it. The way that I'm going to read today is I'm going to first use my Mindset Unicorn cards and I'm going to pick a card for the collective. Give a message for the collective. Then I will do um, an intention card. Then I'll use my other deck and I'm going to do a base. That base will be um, overall, past, present, future. I will then clarify that. Then I will take a new deck and I will go deeper into what's going on. Um, at the end, I will give a couple of messages from the universe. I will give an oracle card. And then when I move into the extended, the extended is actually about clarifying more of what's going on with your person. Um, I don't know what else I was going to say. It just suddenly went away because now spirit is talking to me. Um, Again, subscribe if you want to know when new things are coming. I do um, a monthly forecast. I don't know when I'll do the monthly forecast for June. I've already done the forecast for um, for May. If you want to go look for that. And um, I appreciate all of the love because YouTube doesn't give me any special love, of course, until I hit a thousand. And I don't know what's going on today. I don't know if you can read the energy off of me, but boy, is there an emotional shitstorm out there right now. Like, I don't know what was going on. I sobbed all the way through my workout this morning. Like, you see this, you know, if you could have seen me, you would have been like, what is wrong with her? Like, this girl all doing clean and press with her barbell, tears streaming down her face. Yeah, I don't know what's up. All right. Is that it? I thought so. All right, getting out the old lady glasses. Okay, so there were three cards today for this collective you get green chakra. Today create balance, love, and self-control. Give compassion and kindness to connect to your peace center. So, whoa, yeah, needing a little healing today, collective. Um, the quote is, and now here in my secret, a very simple secret, it is only with the heart that one can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. So, lots of healing. We get birth. Whatever you desired is ready to be born. Give birth should, giving birth should be your greatest achievement, not your greatest fear. The quote is, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and then go do it. Because what the world needs is more people who have done or who have come alive. Right? A lot of birthing going on. <clears throat> create. Creativity takes courage, but now is your time to create. Creativity flows through every cell in your body today. Allow your creative energies to flow freely at all times. And the quote is, the world 
or the worst enemy to creativity is self-doubt. I feel like there's a strange energy about today here, people. So let's see what's going on for my Leos. What's going up for the Leos? Oh. It landed down, so I'm not <laughs> Of course it did. Look. Nothing. I wasn't going to take it, but then it called to me, so I'll keep it. But it's not, it didn't feel like it came out as the only intention for Leo, please. Thank you. Anything else? All right. So what's going on for our Leos? Possibilities of love. What do they need to know here? Feel. So far, I'm saying I could use this reading today. Thank you, Leo. So, the energy of the intention, we have the nothingness. So this is a five. This is this energy that is coming through to me, which is probably exactly what I'm feeling, right? Um, this energy is where you just feel this whole void, blah, like just you don't know why you don't know why you're feeling this you feel like you are you know not connected not loved not a part of things and it's just this blase energy and then you get ripeness you've got all these ripe apples but there is this little deception of the moon back behind it and it's a nine so you may be thinking that now is the time and this energy is ripe for the taking, but in truth, you're almost there. Right now, you're still working on yourself. So overall energy for the reading is Ace of Swords. So you are ready to really cut through the BS, like you're done with whatever, you know, whatever's not working for you and you're ready to move on past energy you were manifesting for this energy that was no pain attached moving forward moving on healing just a great energy your current energy is two of cups so you are probably feeling a very strong attachment to this person and then the future energy is Ten of Swords. So end of the cycle of pain. What could be better? So tell me about this BS. What are you trying to work through here? Tell me about Ace of Swords, please, for my Leo. I feel like you have been carrying a lot of the burden of this relationship or these feelings and yet I've got two cards here that are showing emotion but not necessarily sharing them so we've got the princess of cups and the king of cups so I do feel like this is newer relationship you are both feeling this neither of you are actually discussing really seriously those feelings. However, there is a huge transformation coming and I feel like it could be this you coming forward and actually having this conversation because we've got this tower that has come in and I'll clarify that when I come back around and dig a little bit deeper. In the past,
cast we have the magician thank you thank you so princess of wands Definitely a mask, but knowing what you are manifesting and creating and moving forward. Knowing that this is your time with the Wheel of Fortune. Like this is your time to jump off this wheel, to create this change, this magical change in your life. And with the judgment card here, I do get that there was a decision. There was a decision that needed to be made and I kind of feel like there's part of you that there's something like I'm feeling this itch in my ear that happens when I'm needing to listen a little closer. So I almost feel like this person was forbidden fruit for some of you. There was a little bit of a deception in your going after this tell me about this current two of cups so yeah we've got this fear of the unknown and this seven of swords. So five of pentacles, five or seven of swords together. There's deception. There is a two of swords um, decision coming forward. There is a hidden ace of swords behind the back, which your overall energy, right, is the ace of swords. So it's almost like you're afraid to go ahead and cut through the BS and say, hey, this is how I'm feeling about you. This is what I see. Like you're trying to figure out how to do this without causing any pain. Doing a lot of work on yourself to get there. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Yeah, end of the pain. You see that as you work through your own issues, right? Knight of Swords. So you're internalizing all of this like pain, this belief that you think what's actually going to happen when you've come forward with this. Like you've been internalizing and internalizing and internalizing. Like this is how I'm going to feel. However, we've got the Princess of Pentacles. So this person was also... They are having the same feelings and they are also creating for this. And this person is just waiting. They are open, they are vulnerable, they are happy about this. They are just waiting for you to move forward and to actually say something to them, right? They're waiting for this to be open and honest. Tell me about the tower overall energy. So this is the wheel moment, right? This is, we've got it twice here in the reading. You know that it's time to take a chance. Nine of Swords, I do feel like you are realizing that there is something light coming in to take you out of this darkness that you've been in. However, Knight of Pentacles, there is something that you or your person is going to have to leave behind in order to make this new beginning. 
Now, leaving something behind does not have to be necessarily another person. However, there is something that needs to be left behind here. Tell me about this uh, Ten of Wands. So part of this is really about changing your old belief system, right? Um, this is my card for reprogramming, releasing old beliefs, clearing beliefs, changing mindset. And I do believe you're doing it. I have to, I'm going to put on my glasses here because... I haven't noticed before, or it hasn't like stood out before in other readings, this um, equation here at the bottom, but I was directed to look at it. So I feel like you didn't feel like this was logical, right? And now you're starting to see that logic doesn't play into this, that it's just love, life. Because Seven of Wands, here you are doing that healing energy work on yourself, right? Healing yourself so that you can take this action because you realize that this is a relationship that you have divinely asked for and pulled forward from the universe. Tell me about judgment in the past. So this decision definitely has to do with your ideas of family. We've got 10 of pentacles here, right? So it could be an ending of a family unit. It could be that you maybe didn't ever think that you would get married, or it's a relationship that has very different defined roles. So it could be that the feminine in the relationship is more of a breadwinner than the masculine. And you're really having to reprogram that thought process but this decision is going to create that tower that we're talking about here and walking away from whatever this walking away is and creating this reconciliation between you and your person for a higher level of relationship and to actually start working into that duality of your energy together. Tell me about this five of pentacles in the current energy. Yeah, you're afraid because number one, this means so much to you. Like you see this future being created with this person, but you're still feeling completely bound or it's your person, roles can be reversed, right? Completely bound to this other situation. And you are afraid to make your changes. Tell me about Seven of Swords. Yeah very divine relationship we've got this lover's card very passionate very divine um, really trying to let the universe manage this although you realize that you have to come forward but you're like well how can i not do that how can it just happen for me right Four of Pentacles, 
you are restricting yourself from opening up and yet you know you have to open up and make this decision. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Future energy. Tell me about the Princess of Pentacles. Future energy. So Princess of Pentacles, I get the Two of Pentacles. So Princess of Pentacles could be the one kind of juggling here. But this person sees this as being, right, Ten of Swords on top of Ten of Swords here. So this is the end of this unhappiness, walking away from what's unhappy to this celebration to this energy, this relationship that is amazing and wonderful. And yet here you are in this Knight of Swords energy. You're like, this is my Ace of Cups. However, you're only focused on the fact that you think that your cups are not being filled. You think you're not getting all of this, but you're actually already, this is being given to you, this Ace of Cups, and you're missing it. And you're in your head about it and all sad in your head because you're not seeing that this person is actually here. Here, take it, right? You're just like in the nothingness. <laughs> I like saying that, nothingness. You're in the nothingness, right? You are not seeing what is right here in front of you. So let's pull a couple of cards from the universe. I will say it's not that you aren't trying. You're again, you're in this restrictive mode where you're not really going forward in this offering, despite your desires and your feelings about it. You're trying three of wands. This is breadcrumbing forward. And this could be how your messaging is. You could be a breadcrumber. You could be someone that you just go weeks without talking to your person. And then you realize that you may be losing them. So you throw out a breadcrumb to hopefully pull them back in. And they come back and you get all opened up and you talk to them and you get all happy and joyous. And then you disappear into the nothingness again. And what you need to remember is that you could overshoot your happiness. You're not in control of how this plays out. And your person also has this divine will to manifest what they desire. And so if you're not giving them what they desire, if this is ripe for the picking and you're ignoring it, then what's gonna happen? You're going to overshoot. And when you get to the point where you realize that this is what you want so much that you're willing to be honest about it, it could be done. It could be gone. Free from judgment, free to love. I feel like you need to realize that a lot of the, a lot of the BS that you're internally going through has zero to do with your person. This is all about your own inner judgments. Um, you know, you may need to use some support tools 
You may need to clear some beliefs, get someone to help you with that, something that works with energy, get some flower essences to use. Um, clear out some of that karmic crud that you are carrying around in refusal to this. And when you free yourself of that judgment, right, then you will be opening up to love. And I feel like the universe has definitely given you or is about to give you these major tower ahas so that you can free yourself from this judgment, so that you can realize that things are ripe for the picking, so that you can get out of the nothingness and get into the real life living. So I'm going to go into the extended and clarify what's going on for your person. And I hope to see you there. All right. Bye.